Grandma, I've been, um, I've been thinking about my childhood memories of your garden. Just bursting with veggies in every color. <laughs> I think we could bring it back to the way it was. Are you sure? That's quite a bit of work. What would we need? <laughs> well, for it to be enough to feed us and turn a profit, you'd need to build a bunch more garden beds. That means keeping a compost bin so you can get a whole lot of good soil to fill them. And you'll need to chop some wood to make the beds. Okay. I'm on it. Lena bought the potatoes just as you said. Oh, here's the money, Grandma. Ah, I won't hear of it. You did all the work. You deserve the reward. But Grandma, I... I mean it. If you want to keep fixing things up around here, you'll need all the cash you can get anyway. Buy some more seeds. If we keep the fields planted, we'll always have a way to make ends meet. Well, okay. But only because I'm going to use the earnings to help the farm. Did you know I grew up in the city too? This farm was my Aunt Vivian's place. Oh, she was a firecracker, that one. Ran it all on her own. She never did marry. Said she had no use for a husband. <laughs> I think she left a lot of broken hearts in her wake, though. Hey there, kitty. Do you belong to my grandma? Meow. Oh, you're a good kitty. Grandma, you didn't tell me you have a cat. A cat? <laughs> the last cat I had was old Shadow, rest his soul. He wasn't much to look at, but he was a darn good mouser. This cat isn't yours? She seems awfully familiar with your garden. Oh, no. I don't own that cat. What a notion. She's a good friend to have around, though. So play nice.
Great job. Now we just need to fill it with weeds and let it work its magic. Then we can start making garden beds. It will be good to have the garden in full bloom again. Just who I was hoping to see. Who? Me? Here, take this to Hazel. Oh, I couldn't. Uh, nonsense. Take it. Your grandma and I have a friendly pie rivalry of sorts. This is my answer to her last move. A devastatingly perfect key lime tart. I bake with love. But I also bake to win. Uh, okay. I'll make sure she gets it. Let me know how she likes it. Oh, here, Grandma. Sophia gave me this pie to give to you. <sighs> Apple? How original. You keep it, honeybee. The sugar rush will give you some energy when you need it. How are those beans for Thomas going? They are not ready yet, Grandma. Well, just keep watering them. They'll come in time. It will be good to have the garden in full bloom again. Do you ask every new resident to play the meet everyone game? Oh, yes. After all, that idea won me third place in the icebreaker innovation category at the annual mayoral convention. Congratulations. Oh, hush. It's hardly worth mentioning. What's the difference? When you go home and write this on your freshly pressed paper, hold the offering in your other hand. That's your thistle. You must concentrate on every word as you write it. You'll know it's working if, as you finish, the offering has vanished and you feel some of your magic is drained away. Then the page you've created will be an incantation. You should take it to the High Priestess when it's ready. What does this incantation do? That's not for me to discuss. You should have everything you need to create the incantation at your desk in your sanctum. Just make sure you got enough magic. Farseer. I'm sorry, what? Name's Farseer. 
I see. Far. Like you've got great vision? Visions. Right. Okay. Nice to meet you, Farseer. I see you found the barn. This is it? I went looking for it, but I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Remember the time I milked Bessie and she kicked over the milk bucket? I hid in the barn because I thought you would be mad. <laughs> no use crying over spilled milk or a barn that got blown down in a storm, I suppose. I had to give up keeping cattle. So does that mean this is... Yeah, the chicken coop. Well, after Merlin passed, I didn't have a dog to guard the chickens, and they kept getting picked off. I chopped up the coop for firewood. Oh, that's a shame. Do you think we could restore them? Well, I'm sure we could, but after that old ranch closed up, the nearest place to get more animals is miles away. Uh, if Mayor Otto would bestir himself to do something about that, then fixing up these buildings would be light work for Parker. Hey, have you tried Kim's Butcher Shop yet? There was nowhere on the island to get good bacon until they came along. Now Kai and I can have ourselves a breakfast with the works on the weekends. So, how are your parents? Oh, um, I'm realizing I don't know their names. I always called them Mr. and Mrs. Dahl. It's all right. You could call my dad Marcus now, if he still lived here. He's in a retirement home in Milkwater. And Lisa, that's my ma, passed away eight years ago. I am really sorry to hear that. It's okay. All in the past, right? So, I run the flower shop here in town if you ever need anything. <laughs> wow, it's such a coincidence with you being named Vi Yeah, yeah, Violet. A flower, it's hilarious. <laughs> Look, I don't even like flowers that much, but I can set my own hours. I like being able to be there when my little brother gets home from school. That's so nice. How old is the little guy? 16. But he still likes it when I make him a snack, okay?
Don't pack the soil too tight now. You'll choke the seedlings. Oh, hello, Thomas. I didn't hear you. That's because I don't wear big, clumpy boots like you city folk. Anyway, <clears throat> not a bad effort for your first plot. Wow, you give compliments? Don't make me regret bringing these for you. <laughs> Thank you. But what's the occasion? Hazel's a good woman. Strong. But you don't need me to tell you she's struggling. So when I saw you out helping with the garden beds, well, she's not the only one who appreciates it. I'll do my best with these seeds. What a long day. in Fairhaven, Shelby. Long enough to know I prefer the peace and quiet of the woods to town. I don't mind when your Graham comes for a visit, though. She knows when to take her leave without needing a hint. Oh. Okay. I, um, guess I'll be on my way. It's so, like... Cool of you to come hang with Hazel. When I first took over my stall from the last owner, Hazel came and bought chocolate every day. Turns out she doesn't even like chocolate. She just figured if other people saw her giving me business, they would too. Well, I do like chocolate, so you will be seeing a lot of me too. Sweet. Don't forget to eat. 
Your father used to eat like a horse whenever he had to do farm chores. In fact, I made him a big batch of stew when he came to visit. Was it weird seeing Dad after all this time? Ah, he's still my boy. Always will be, even if he's in a temper. <laughs> he's stubborn, just like his pa. I, I'm glad he came. And I could tell he was too. Then now you're here, what could be better? Thomas, I've got some green beans for you. Grandma said you needed them to make an order. Oh, she did? Huh. Well, thank you. That will be a help. Stay there a moment. I got something for you. Uh, hello? Who are you? What's it? You can see me? Well, yeah, you're standing right there. Oh, it's just most humans don't take much notice of me. My family and Thomas's family got a long history. I like to help out where I can. I do too, I guess. Well, you must be a good witch then. <laughs> Wait, how did you know I was... Where did she go? Where did who go? Um, the cat. You know, the, the stray? Right. Well, here's something for helping me out. It's not much, but it's what I have. Thanks, Thomas. Hey, uh, do you like Satan? Uh, um, excuse me? And say tan, like, like the meat substitute? Oh, that stuff. It does taste pretty good now that you mention it. Why, have you suddenly gone vegan? <laughs> no, no. But I was thinking maybe Thomas will stop giving me the stink eye if I sell some chickenless nuggets too. Do you care what he thinks? <laughs> no way, I just don't want to lose sleep over petty drama. The real problem here is that I don't have any wheat gluten. If you and Hazel are growing wheat this spring, could I have some? For money? Haven't you heard of paying in exposure? Joking, joking. I'll pay you, of course. If you need wheat seeds, I think Lena sells them. You're a recent arrival, right? Did Otto have you play that meet everyone game? <laughs> he sure did, but I found it a good opportunity to introduce myself and the League's mission to the town. Before I knew it, I had four new members.
I can't believe you're married now. In my head, you're still 16. Believe me, I wonder every day about where the time's gone. Oh, if you have questions about the buildings on your farm, don't hesitate to ask Parker. He's the sweetest guy. I couldn't have asked for better. Good to see you again. Hi. Have you seen the notice board in front of Town Hall? There are always lots of ways to help out in the community. No, I didn't, uh, notice the notice board. Well, do take a look. You can lend a hand and make a bit of spare money, too. I place a monthly order for fresh flowers, Violet. It, it's not like I asked for a rush job. I'm sorry. It's just that the fairy's running behind schedule. Again. Maybe if the fairy wasn't underfunded, this wouldn't happen. Make excuses if you like. Late is late, as I tell my students. Bad time? Ugh. No. It's fine. I just... When my dad was mayor, the fairy always ran on time. Hey. Do you have any wildflowers growing on your farm? Maybe I could make some substitutions. Uh, sort of? How do you feel about thistles? You're suggesting I make a bouquet out of thistles? Thistles? Oh, look, if you don't want them... Did you hear me say no? The sooner I can get Vanessa out of my hair, the better. Anything I can put in my bouquets? Stress no more, I found just the thing. See? They're pretty. Yes! Those will do nicely! <sighs> it's hard sometimes. Filling all these orders to decorate the house I grew up in. Whoa, does the mansion go with the job? Yep. Anyway, thanks. You saved my butt. <laughs> Violet, can I ask you about Marisoft's getting to know you game? It's so creepy, right? My dad totally didn't make people do that when he was mayor. Otto made a lot of changes since he took office, but he's mayor at least until this fall, for better or worse. Hello again. Hi. You know, you don't see many blacksmiths these days. Yeah, I know. Well, my great-grandpa was a blacksmith, so I guess you could say it runs in the family. Of course, he died before I was born, but it's his hammer I've got. That's really cool. So your family taught you? Oh, nah. I'm self-taught. A city export like yourself. It's harder work than sitting at a desk, but it's more rewarding. You'll come to love it here. I'll see.
Hi, kitty. Grandma, the garden beds are ready. Oh, I can't thank you enough for helping me like this. I found some seeds in the bottom of a drawer you might like to plant. Otherwise, there's more variety down at Lena's store. I went by that newfangled church, the consciousness center or whatever you call it, shortly after Cameron moved here. He's a nice sort of fellow, and I think he means well. But he's not terribly bright, unfortunately. Grandma! <laughs> I know the poor man can't help it. I just hope he doesn't cause too much trouble around here. Good morning! I've had an inspiration. Uh-oh. When people here get inspired, that somehow always means more work for me. <laughs> you got me. Of course, I know you're busy, what with the farm and taking care of your gram, but I've been looking at old blueprints of the mine, and I think Parker could fix it up for you. Nothing to it but some new wood supports and some stone to build back up the rubble wall entrance. Anyhow, if you do get it fixed up and dig out some good iron ore, I'd be happy to smelt it for you. You're right. That does sound useful. I'll get to it.
Should only take a day or so. Hey, Parker. Quick question. Did the mayor make you play a game to meet everyone when you first moved here? Well, Otto wasn't mayor back then. It was Violet's dad, Antonio Miranda. And no, I don't think he asked me to do that. It might have been useful, come to think about it. Some folks are harder to get to know than others. So my mom says your grandma's sick, and that's why you came here. Yeah, I came back to take care of her. That's nice. I visited my Nona in Italy when she got sick, too. Well, technically, she was my dad's Nona. I'm sure she was really happy to see you. I don't really know. I don't speak Italian, so I didn't know what anybody said. At least you and Hazel speak the same language. That's a good point. Good job! You made your first incantation. Usually you can just cast your incantations any time you please. But for this one, you'll need the whole coven. Now take this over to the High Priestess. She'll tell you what to do. Have you the incantation for the initiation rite? Yes, it's ready. Good. Initiate Terra, give the incantation to Elder Hazel. She must be the one to cast it. Here's the initiation incantation, Grandma. Honeybee, before we get started, I have a gift for you. This has been in our family for generations. And it is our custom to pass it on at the time of initiation. Go ahead. Try them on. Oh, like all before you, they fit you beautifully. Oh, I feel... taller. <laughs> That was done during my Aunt Vivian's time. She was a bit on the short side and wanted to appear more regal. So she spelled the robes. Then the other witches got jealous and we might be magical, but we're still human. Elder Hazel, Initiate Terra, take your places for the right. Initiate, you seek new knowledge, but with it comes a sacred duty. Who brings forth this initiate to join our coven? I do. As the great wheel turns, so must we take our part. Here where our ancestors stood before us, and where others will follow. Enter our circle, for this is the hour. A fair haven witch comes into her power. Weird, but, but in a good way. You are ready. Return tomorrow and we will continue your training.
Have you ever thought about being the high priest? Nah, nah. I'm good at the prophecy and, and the muttering, not so much the leading. Besides, there's all the paperwork. Coven leaders have to do paperwork? <laughs> sure, mounds. <laughs>